did you personally know your bodyguards, like, or were they just two yes. other people? Yes. No, no, I, I, I knew my bodyguards. Well, at least I thought I did. One of them turned out to be an FBI agent. Hi, I'm Hi. Talbot. Hi, Talbot. I'm Elmer. Hi. Pleased nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Elmer. And Hi, I'm Vanessa. It's nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Vanessa. You guys look like brother and sister. We're yeah. twins. We're twins. You're kidding. Hi, I'm, I'm Josh. I'm Marsha. Nice to meet you, Marsha. Good to meet you, too. So, you were apparently a former Black Panther. Yes, I was a former Black Panther. What do you know about the Black Panthers? They were founded in 1966, I think. And, like, a thing that initiated it was the shooting of Malcolm X. Okay, that's good stuff. What did you know? I think I read the same web page as she did. <laughs> okay. I think the so, too. stuff. What is the Black Panthers? The Black Panther Party was an organization because we are no longer an organization that was formed to fight against uh, racism in this country. What made you want to join? What made me want to join was the civil rights movement. A lot of young people had grown up into activism. I marched with Dr. King when I was your age. There was another gentleman by the name of Malcolm X who said that we were going to get our freedom by whatever means necessary. So if you hit us, we're going to hit you back. If you shoot at us, we're going to shoot back. And so the Black Panther Party took on that philosophy. And so because we dared to stand up and defend ourselves, we were named the number one threat to the internal security of the United States by the director of the FBI. That's not good. Did you ever feel like scared to join a, like, a community where the FBI and stuff probably didn't like it that much? Of course there are those elements, you know, people who were like, these are militant people, they should be off the street. The average person really admired what we were doing. We did things like the sickle cell anemia testing. Really? It was the Black Panther Party that created national attention that this is a disease that has to be cured. And if you go to school, do you get a breakfast in school now? Yeah. yeah. That's because of what the Black Panther Party did. We've had thousands of kids here in Seattle every day a hot breakfast before they went to school. Did you get like paid for working for the Black Panther or was it just volunteer? Let me think. Never got paid. <laughs> Did you have to be black to be a Black Panther? The answer is kind of yes and no. We actually had a, a couple of white folks who were honorary members of the Black Panther Party. But what we always encouraged young white students to do was to organize within their own community. Were the kids in Black Panther Party? There were Black Panther kids that were the children of Black Panthers. We call them Panther Cubs. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think the party ended? There was a lot of violence, and the people who really sacrificed their lives did not get a lot of gain from it. Elmer Dixon himself was one of them. Has anybody tried to harm your like, or you stayed? When I was a Black Panther? Yeah. Yes. We had many Black Panthers that were murdered through the FBI operations. Oh my um, gosh, they actually killed you guys? Like, oh, they were, they were trying to kill us in our sleep and kill us whenever every opportunity they had. At 17 and 18 years old, I had two bodyguards. Did you personally know your bodyguards, like, or were they just two other yes, people? Yes, I knew my bodyguards. Well, at least I thought I did. One of them turned out to be an FBI agent. It wasn't until 40 years later, through the Freedom of Information Act, we had gotten a hold of our FBI files and all of the names of people that were agents were in there and my bodyguard's name was in there. Did you have any attempts like on your life personally? Because I, I know you said Yes, that, I did. Like... One occasion, I didn't go with my brother to target practice that day. I was out on another assignment and my brother went to fire his shotgun and when he fired it, it exploded. Oh my, someone, someone had doctored the bullets that went into his shotgun and almost blew his arm off. So they were directly trying to kill you guys? Like oh yes, they were definitely trying to kill us. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. If one of your places, the FBI came in and like threatened with guns, did, mm -hmm. you, did you ever fight back? Oh like yes. With guns? Well, not in my time, but they definitely defended themselves with guns. Mm -hmm. What do you think about violence and its role in solving problems? If someone's like violent to you, you have to defend yourself, but it's best to be less violent, I think. What do you guys think hearing these stories of violence and bloodshed? We're all really familiar with Dr. Martin Luther King, so it's interesting to hear kind of the more violent side. Yeah, you know, we weren't the violent ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was, the violence was being targeted at, at us. We thought it was violent to deny people the right to health care. And when you had babies that couldn't get medicine, that was violent. 
when you had kids that couldn't uh, eat in the morning, we thought that was violent. So our philosophy was to stand up and not allow ourselves to be attacked by the conditions within our community. That's self-defense. Do you think that we could benefit in the present right now from the Black Panthers? Yes, but you don't have to call it the Black Panther Party. It could be any organization. Stay collective, stay together. You know power to the people? Yes, power to the people, yeah. Your hand together cannot be divided. If you're like this, you know, the wind goes through and all that, you yeah. have no power. Yeah. This way, the Black Panther Party always had power because they moved in groups. Now, do you see how people are being killed? Like Trayvon Martin, yeah. do you remember Trayvon Martin? Yeah. He was walking alone down the street. As a mother, I'm more concerned for my child if they're alone than if they're with a group. All right, anything else? Elmer Gunners, the kids, anything? No, I just, you guys are living in a very exciting time. Just believe in yourself. That's what I always do. Good, good for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> my pleasure, it was so good to yeah. meet you. you too.